Y'all see that shit right there? I'm double wrapped. And I uh, had to take my pain meds and all that, man. But I'm here at the uh, drive through Jack in the Box here in Indio. And there's a dude waiting right here. And he's um, got a sign that says, anything's a blessing. Standing there, can't even stand still, bouncing around. I'm just like, yo, I'm hurt, and I'm and I'm coming home from work, yo. I'm hurt going to work, working, and then right now I'm like, I'm not even working the same hours I, I'm used to working, so my paycheck's gonna be tiny this Friday compared to what I usually make. But if I can do this. And you're an able-bodied human being. Why can't you get up to go to work? Why do you got to stand out here and beg for money? With a sign that says, anything is a blessing. That shit pisses me off, bro. This is America. I like to introduce myself. My name is King. Churro. What's up, y'all? It's your boy King Churro. It is Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. It's approximately 10.30 in the morning. I've been up since uh, about 5 this morning. I'm off today, which is weird that I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning, um, being that I'm off. Um, but I still had to take my meds in the morning. This is my second cup of coffee. If you've been watching my videos, you know how I feel about transients and people begging for money, um, especially out here in Indio. Um, you know, these people out here, they don't care about anything else but themselves and, and getting high. Um, there's so many programs out here in Southern California in general that provide for people who are homeless, people who need a second chance, a third chance, fourth chance. But there's so many programs out here for people. But again, transients who just decide not to work. I mean, there's now hiring signs everywhere you go. There's no reason for someone to have to beg for money. There's work everywhere you go. And again, I'm hurt. Like, I'm waiting on physical therapy. I'm going to start physical therapy at the end of this month. I've got uh, an appointment with the orthopedic surgeon next month. The point I'm trying to make is, if I'm able to do what I'm doing, then anyone should be able to just go and just grab a job. And that'd be it. But not everybody's trying to work. Not everybody's trying to just take whatever job they can get. There's the people who want to work. And there's the people who just don't give a shit and would rather get all the free shit. It's going to go with the breeze. If you've been watching my videos, um, you know that I've been looking for a job. Now I'm being more picky. I'm not going to just pick up any job. I am looking for a clerical, an office job. Obviously, I don't have a lot of experience in that. I have more of my experience in customer service. I have more of my experience in being a people person. But I'm also, like right now, working a job that... Mike is just gonna, you know, he's 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 working with me. He let me do this little bit just to keep me employed. I have nothing but respect for that man for what he's doing. Same token though, I I need to figure out where I'm gonna go from here because I need to work full time. I have a lifestyle to maintain, meaning that I don't like to have to pinch pennies. We tend to eat out all the time, and it's shit, it's getting expensive, man. It is getting expensive. So there's a lifestyle I have to maintain. We don't go to, you know, fancy dinners or nothing, but it annoys the hell out of me when I see people begging for money. I mean, you get off the freeway and there's somebody just sitting right there and, you know, and it gets hot out here and I'm like, is it even worth it? Is it even worth standing out in this hot ass heat begging for money? There's people who will have a stroller. They'll sit there on the corner with a stroller with no baby in it. 
begging for money. There are people with homeless people with dogs. That's what pisses me off. My wife and I, we we feel for the dogs, so we'll go and buy extra dog food. You know, it's only like nine cents a can for the dog. I want to take the dog. I want to take the dogs off their hands. I'm like, look, man, you can't take care of that dog if you're homeless. Nine times out of ten, they're not even homeless. They're just looking for money. They ain't trying to work. I had to get that off my chest. It's boy King Churro. Remember that you're loved. Always have positive vibes. Never give up on your coffee. And remember to be great every day. Peace out, y'all. Every day you wake up, you got a decision to make. To go right or left. Up or down. Right or wrong. At the end of the day, you make the decision. Nobody forces you. So make the right decision. Make moves. Set the goals. Stop making excuses, man. And if it look like a duck, walk like a duck, and sound like a duck, it's a duck. Stop guessing. Just do the right thing. You heard? You hear me? I love y'all. Stay positive. Love one another. All right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Before I, um, I'm all done my route. So before I leave here today, I got to hit some places up. Street signs. Everyone falls in.